Sam Our Guru channel. Today I'm showing you around a 2021 Land Rover Defender 110 XP400. So I'll show you around the outside and then we'll have a look at the interior. Let's get on with it. Right, so let's have a look around the Defender X P400 then. So starting at the front, you get the signature LED daytime running lights, which surround the LED headlights. And you've also got LED fog lights just down there, incorporated into the bumper. Of course it has the Pivi Pro system, so you've got the 360 degree camera, the front one mounting just there. Front parking sensors all across the front bumper, and also the sort of bronzy gold sort of inlaid panel just in the middle there and also the grill bar as well you get the uh, defender lettering in the standard silver sort of power bulge in the bonnet there with the checker plate sections finished in Santorini black with the ebony Windsor leather interior you also get the 20 inch matte grey alloy wheels with the red Land Rover branded brake calipers behind. And you've got the privacy glass there as well. And this car's actually been accessorised with the roof rack, the ladder on this side, and you'll see in a second there's also a storage box on the other side, both of which you'll need keys to access. The car comes as standard with the keyless entry and exit system. And uh, what do we think to it, all uh, blacked out and stealth? Let me know in the comments what you think. But uh, it's a big car, it's, uh, it's definitely bigger than a, a normal, uh, normal Range Rover, for example. So there we go, let's have a look around the back. So just before we have a look in the back, I also noticed that the car's fitted with uh, all-round classic Land Rover Defender mud flaps, which uh, a lot of our customers are actually uh, specifying, because there is a quite a lot of space between the uh, the tyre and the bumpers which will flick up a lot of dirt so mud flaps I think are a must. We've also got the 20 inch spare alloy wheel on the back which is of course uh, carried by three bolts and we've also got the black towing eyes on the rear as well or the recovery eyes as they call it. Again you've got the sort of bronzy silver inlay as well and the smoked rear lights are exclusive to the Defender X you can't have those on any other standard version. Let's take a look in the boot space. So the door actually, well, it's got one of those hinges where it sort of stays where you leave it, sort of thing, so it won't swing in the wind. So it'll take a, it takes quite a bit of force to actually move it from its current position. So there we go. So in the boot area, all sort of white clean, hose down, plastic hard wearing. 40 20 40 split fold for the seats. This particular vehicle has the deployable tow bar, which uh, if we pop that button just there, let's watch it pop its tow bar out. There it is, and it will pop up and lock itself into place. And of course it brings with the electric socket as well. And then to get rid of it, again we just push the button, and it disappears all the way back. That's quite a popular option on uh, Land Rover Defenders that we're finding, a lot of people specifying these. You can't have it retrofitted, so you have to have it fitted from the factory. We've got a power socket just in here as well, which is a normal household plug socket for uh, our UK viewers. Obviously, your uh, overseas ones will have your uh, your market-specific plug sockets. Plenty of uh, coat hooks here as well, so you can hang your uh, your jackets and things. And if we have a look underneath, you've got a little bit of extra storage in there because, of course, the spare wheel is of course located on the outside of the car and you've got your jacks and everything in there as well so you can store your muddy boots and things in there again this is all just polystyrene you can take it out hose it down again if you need to 
and then in the door pocket itself plenty of storage there if you need it there we go so yeah, let me know what you think of the uh, the back end of the car do you like the smoke lights would you rather have the colored red lights they do the same job i suppose right let's have a look at the driver's side Right, so driver's side profile then. So as you can see, we've got the silver side box on the car. A lot of our customers are re uh, requesting these to be painted in black, just so it matches the, uh, the black car. Um, this particular one will be painted black. This uh, vehicle is sold to, uh, to one of our customers. Again, got the mud flaps on the, uh, on the side as well. Privacy glass. So you can see it all in the uh, profile. There we go. Right, let's have a look at the interior. Right, so rear passenger legroom then. Plenty of it. One single floor mat covers the entire rear carpeted area. And the leather itself, as I mentioned, is the super soft Windsor leather, which is perforated in the centre. does have this sort of fabric outer section here, which, of course, if you step in into the car, it's going to get scuffed, so you don't want to damage that super soft leather. Isofix points, of course, are all the way along. You've got this little toggle here. You can pull this seat, drop it forwards, and then drop the backrest down, of course, adjusting the headrest for uh, to take it out if you want a little bit more space. And you've got a, a huge boot area there. Of course, you can lock it back in and then just bring your seat squad back up and click it back in. There we go. You can do that on both sides, of course. Uh, on the door card, it's a little bit strange. Uh, you've got a sort of wood trim here on this particular car. Actually, feels like actual wood that hasn't been sort of prepared or polished or anything. Quite like that. Uh, you've got these sort of sockets here for um, iPods and iPads. If you're into that sort of thing for rear passengers, they're what call a click and go storage. Uh, click and go system, sorry, my apologies. And this particular car has the panoramic glass sliding sunroof and yes we did check that there's enough clearance between the roof and the um, roof rack before we actually open it so uh, yes that's uh, that's been accounted for there we go so that's the rear of the car let's jump in the front okay so in the front let's start with the door card so of course being the defender x it's quite a high specification so you've got meridian surround sound system memory settings for the driver's seat, all round electric windows and power adjustable door mirrors are of course standard. Plenty of storage areas. Again, leather on the door cards and any sort of exposed bolt heads here. And then your seat controls are on the side here. So it's uh, an eight way adjustable seat with the inflatable bolsters and lumbar support. Electric steering column. Again, that stores on your memory as well. And then of course you've got your seat configuration in the middle so you've got the little jump seat there which of course is on its own runner and sliders or of course you can just drop that down and have the armrest and cup holders there available for front passengers so there we go let's jump in switch the car on and have a look at some of the tech right so sat in the driver's seat of the defender x so the first thing we can see is we've got digital dash which of course is standard and we've configured this uh, today with two dials and the map in the middle. Of course, you can have the map on the full screen of the car. On the steering wheel, we've got our heated wheel over this side, limiter, cruise control, which is radar guided, as you can see. You can increase the distance that the car will follow the car in front or decrease it, should you uh, wish to do that. Uh, we've got volume controls on this side here. Uh, which I'm going to turn down just in case when I put the audio on it's uh, a little bit copyrighted uh, We've got left and right for skipping tracks, uh, radio stations, etc Voice activation, phone answering and our configurable widget Auto lights, auto wipers, usual kind of thing And then of course we've got the Pivi Pro system with the 3D surround camera Which if I engage, let's, uh, let's put that one on You can see the camera move around the car a um, little bit disappointing that uh, it still shows the uh, the standard red lights and the silver wheels when it's a Defender X. I could have done something a bit special with that, but there we go. So we'll go back to the home screen. We've all seen the Pivi Pro. If you haven't, have a look at the uh, Pivi Pro and Pivi Pro Advanced videos that I have on the channel. You might find them useful if you're thinking of uh, buying one of these cars. Again, I'm just going to quickly show you what uh, screens uh, look like and things. So there you go. So we've got... Uh, Bluetooth connectivity there. We've got our 
apps that we can go into. Again, you've all seen it before on the channel. Looking down, we've got dual-sided climate control. We've got our seat heaters within the dials here. So we just push that in to adjust the seat. So we push in and we can dial all the way to the left for cooling and all the way to the right for heating. Pushing back in and then we've got individual climate control there. We've got air suspension, which is controlled by these two uh, buttons here, up and down. Of course, it's in access height at the moment. Uh, low range for off-roading and traction control. Hill descent control, stop start system. You get a heated windscreen as standard as you'd expect. Uh, you've got your climate control menu buttons here so you can see what it looks like on the screen. Air recirculation there. And of course you've got your vents uh, just on top of the dash there as well. The rear view mirror, so you can see that it is a mirror at the moment. You can see reflecting my hand there. If I change that, it becomes the clear sight camera. So it's no longer a mirror, it doesn't reflect my hand uh, in, the, in the mirror glass at all, it becomes a camera and we can actually see what's actually behind us. So the camera is mounted in the shark fin on the back of the car and it looks down. It's a little bit uh, strange to get used to at first because you can't really gauge where the car is. Pop it back to uh, a, camera, uh, a mirror there so you can see what the issue is. Of course you've got the headrest in the way from the middle centre seat. So that's actually quite useful. Uh, I'm not going to open the glass roof uh, for reasons which you can see there. Uh, it's raining at the moment, but just so you know, it does in fact clear the uh, the roof rack, which is optional. And then just we'll have a quick look around the interior at the seats. So of course it's all hard wearing floors in the middle, carpet's covering that at the moment. Seats themselves really nice and comfortable, uh, heated and cooled as I mentioned earlier. And uh, all the controls fall nice neatly to hand but just to give you an idea of how big this car is have a look at the at the size of that bonnet it does feel like a big car when you sat in it I'll try and show you in the mirrors as well you can't really see a lot when you've got that box on the side and that side mirror there as well it is a big car so there we go oh one thing just to mention as well these little sort of speakers here they actually pick up the rear passengers uh, voice and pump it through into the front so you don't have to shout at your driver unless you really want to of course just to give you an idea of the rear seats again there we go so yeah this was just a, a quick look round a Land Rover Defender X I actually just noticed that you can't quite see if you look at where the tip of my finger is you can see the head-up display there it's a zero mph it's got the head-up display on this one as well so there we go hopefully you've enjoyed this look around the interior Just before I go to the close of the video, I thought you might like to see this. Just as I was parking the car up, I thought I'll do a size comparison between the Defender 90 at the front and the Defender 110 at the rear. Just so you can get an idea of how much bigger the 110 is over the 90. Thought you might find that useful. There we go. Just a couple of angles there for you. So yeah, thought you might like to see the size difference between the two cars on the wide angle lens. So there we go, hopefully you've enjoyed this video on the Defender 110 XP400. And if you have, drop me a comment. And uh, if you've got one of these on order or you've taken delivery of one, or you're thinking about buying one, let me know if this video was helpful for you, what you think of it, uh, if anything could be improved on. Just let me know what you think. All comments are welcome. And if you haven't already, do please consider subscribing to the channel so you know when I uh, put my next video out. I can appreciate not being too busy on the channel recently, but trying to change that now for you. But thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.